Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you're watching this video, it's because you picked Color Change Slime for your subscription box. So let's take a look at how to make it, what does it mean, and some tips and tricks that might help you out along the way. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab a bowl and we are going to mix together our glue and our pigment. So in your cups, you have about a fourth a cup of glue. Go ahead and add that to your bowl and make sure you use a spoon or that chopstick that we gave you to get all of the glue out because um, some of it's gonna wanna stay behind but you wanna make sure that you get all of that quarter cup. Take the lid off of your pigment and we're gonna add that in. And it is not gonna wanna mix together. Um, so just go slow, it's a powder. So it'll poof up if you let it. And just sort of swirl that together and make sure that you're getting all of the pigment wet with the glue. And we're just gonna stir until we don't see anything dry left in that bowl. There we go, now it's starting to come together and get kind of that really deep liquidy color. There we go. Okay, so once you have stirred it all together, it should look a little bit like this, kind of like really thick paint. And you wanna try to just do another scrape of those edges, make sure you've got all the dry ingredients mixed together. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is the other cup that you have has starch in it. And there's just a little less than a quarter of a cup. We're gonna put that in and mix it together. And I don't want you to be alarmed that it's not gonna look like slime right away. 100% okay. And all of that starch may not want to mix in there either. So I would use your spoon or your chopstick until you get most of it mixed in. And just kind of smoosh it down, swoosh it around, try to incorporate most of that starch in there. But you're gonna reach a point where all of this kind of gloppy looking liquid, spoon's not gonna do anything anymore, and this is where we gotta get our hands involved. And it, again, it's not gonna feel like slime right away. So I'm trying to scrape it all together, and then I am literally like just squeezing it between my fingers as though just the force of my fingers can get those two things to mix together. And this is the part that's gonna take a little while and don't worry about it. I promise it will be slime in the end. I honestly do. And it looks kind of like, gosh, I don't know, intestines? I'm not even sure if we've got intestines at this point. But you wanna pull it, stretch it, and then squish it in your hands and you're just gonna keep doing this over and over. But I want you to see, like most of this looks dark purple, but there are spots of light blue on my hands where there's less of it. And that is the warmth of my hands is starting to change the color of my slime already and I'm not even done mixing it yet. Okay, I'm gonna gather up all these stringy bits and pieces and squeeze and pull and squeeze and pull squeeze and pull. You got it, squeezing and pulling. This type of slime can just take a while to come together and that's okay. One thing we can do is just let it rest for a little bit. Once you let it sit there for a little bit, already I can start to get kind of a more slime consistency and I only let it sit there for you know, 30 seconds, a minute. Went to go wash my hands and then come back. 
so you can do that too. You can let it just sit and then when you come back, and you can do that more than once, and eventually when it stops being quite so damp, you can set it down on the table, let it rest, go clean your bowl, and when you come back, it should be a lot closer to slime consistency. For a while, I would still keep it on countertop so you can wash off, but eventually, once you have it all mixed together, rub your hands together, get them warm, get that blood flowing, and when you do, you'll start to see that color change pigment happen. If your slime doesn't start to change color immediately, don't worry. It takes my hands a long time to warm up from making the slime, so, rub them together, rub them on your pants, run them under hot water. That will help to get them warm enough to start changing the color of your slime. You can also use hot or cold objects to help change the color of your slime too. I know I said it, but I'm gonna say it one more time. If you're like me and your hands are always cold, it's not gonna color change right away. Run your hands under warm water, rub them up and down on your pant legs, jump up and down a bunch, really get your blood flowing. You can also use your slime on the hot sides of hot mugs, like if you have some hot cocoa or your mom or dad has some coffee, or cold things. So if you have a cold drink, you can wrap it around the edge of that too and watch it change colors. Hope you had a good time with this one, and I hope to see you back next month with our next Trash Panda Treasure subscription box. Thanks guys, bye.